Professor Burkert uh, Pieski from uh, Medical University of Graz. The mechanistic effects of spironolactone in diastolic heart failure, the ALDO DHF study. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> on behalf of the ALDO DHF investigators, ALDO DHF stands for aldosterone receptor blockade in diastolic heart failure. Um, there are no disclosures related to the trial. The trial has been funded by the German Federal Ministry for Education and Research. Background, as you heard, already diastolic heart failure or heart failure with preserved ejection fraction accounts for over 50% of all heart failure cases. Clinical outcomes are poor and no established therapy exists. Aldosterone has been implicated in the pathogenesis of diastolic heart failure via aldosterone receptor mediated myocardial fibrosis, hypertrophy, and vascular stiffening. So, Aldo DHF was designed to test the efficacy and safety of the aldosterone receptor antagonist spironolactone in patients with diastolic heart failure. Aldo DHF was a multi center, randomized, placebo controlled, double blind, two armed parallel group study. Our hypothesis was that spironolactone 25 milligrams per day would improve cardiac function and exercise capacity as compared to placebo after one year. We choose two co-primary endpoints, E over E prime, as an echocardiographic tissue Doppler derived estimate of left ventricular filling pressure and maximal exercise capacity assessed as peak VO2 on bicycle spiroergometry CPET. Key inclusion criteria, we recruited stable symptomatic heart failure patients with an ejection fraction above 50%, objective evidence of diastolic dysfunction and in peak VO2 below 25, and in total we randomized 422 patients into the study. These are the primary results. The co-primary endpoints, first E over E prime, left ventricular filling pressure, diastolic dysfunction. Over the treatment period, there was a significant decline in filling pressure with spironolactone, and this was signi highly significant as compared to placebo. In contrast, the, secondary, the second co-primary endpoint, peak VO2 exercise capacity, as you can see, there was no significant effect of spironolactone treatment over 12 um, months as compared to placebo. Secondary endpoints, two examples, there was a significant reduction in the left ventricular mass index with spironolactone and a significant reduction in anti-proBNP plasma levels with spironolactone as compared to placebo. And um, if it comes to safety, we did not observe um, any signal that with spironolactone we had more severe adverse events. As you can see, there was no difference with regard to deaths or hospitalizations. We saw, we saw more cases of worsening renal function, a classical side effect of spironolactone, but no difference when it came to severe renal dysfunction. We saw more cases of slight increases in serum potassium levels, but no difference at all if it came to more severe hyperkalemia defined as levels above 5.5 millimoles per liter. So to, to summarize, uh, excuse me please, Aldo DHF is so far the largest mechanistic phase 2B clinical trial in HEFPEF. We could show that spironolactone effectively improved filling pressure, E over E prime, and other measures of structural and functional improvement of the left ventricle, but aldosterone uh, antagonist therapy had no effect on functional capacity, quality of life, and new heart class. So in conclusion, we would say that aldosterone receptor antagonists could, could be considered in patients with diastolic heart failure to improve um, measures of diastolic function and structural um, adversary modeling. Thank you very much. Aldo, Aldo DHF is open for uh, questions.